Got my new gooseneck hitch in the mail from BMW Trailer Hitches. This is uh, model 1108 for uh, F250. I think it's like 99 to 2010. Three quarter and one time. Let's get this out of the box. Brown chicken, brown cow. Voila. Let's go through what we got. Driver and passenger side plates. Front and rear cross members. Exhaust bracket. Side plate clamps. 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 The center section. Latch pin handle. The ball. The U-bolt kit with the springs and the hardware. Those are for your safety chains. And a crap ton of other hardware. Here's a closer look at the hardware. And when it's done, it'll look like this. Okay, here's what you want this thing to look like when it's put together. The frame rails go through here. Bertha. Step one, drill a really big hole in the bed of the truck. Oh. Ah. Gotta make the four inch hole for the ball. 47 inches from the end of the bed. 24. Found all my deer corn. Now if you got one of these deburring tools, go ahead and deburr that hole. And if you don't have one of these, get one, because they're sweet. Okay, we gotta remove this heat shield. Like that. My truck's a 2010, but on 2004 and older trucks, it says you're gonna have to relocate the emergency brake cable. On 2005 and newer trucks, which mine is, it says the tailpipe has to be lowered, the bracket behind the rear tire has to be lowered and that's the bracket they gave in the thing. I got an aftermarket four inch exhaust so we'll see how this works out. Step two, take all that metal stuff in the package, put it on the truck. We're gonna put the rear cross member in. The rear one has three notches. One on this side, two on this side. We wanna put a notch in this little part of the bed here. I'm gonna make sure that the ovals and the cross member are facing towards the cab. We're slide it in, and the reason that we made that notch is because we gotta tilt it up on end to get it to clear the shock bracket on the other side. You tilt it up to get it over top of the shock mount bracket, and then from the passenger side, if you keep tapping on this with a mallet, it goes a little sideways, it clears the shock mount bracket, and then it falls down into place. And then from here, you slide it across to the, to the back end of the truck where it's gonna sit. Next step, hit all the metal stuff with a really big hammer. Okay, front angle, two notches, ovals facing backwards. Slide it in, just like that. Oh, oh that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. Ah. Long story short, if you're trying to get it over the, the shock mount bracket and it won't go, put a pry bar in there and make it go. And then if it won't go, try harder until it goes. You put the clamp on first and then the slide plate. Side plate. Slide plate. Okay, so we got the seat clamp on the other side. We're fishing it through the hole. The key here is to get it all into place and then tighten it all down. Next step, put all the washers and the nuts and stuff. Lock washer, nut. Check out the stance. Do though. that on both sides. That stance. Just put them on. Put both of them on. No big deal. What else? We're lining the front angle. Put the washers on the side with the oblong hole. The lock washer needs to be against the nut. Come on. Okay, so we got the clamps in, we got the plates in, we got the angles in, and we got the bolts that hold all that together in and loose. That's the key, loose. Now we're gonna bring the center section in the middle up through the bed, 
and bolt it into place. We got the center section up into place and now we got the bolts holding the center section to the angles in and loosely tightened. Now we're going to tighten those puppets down. Tighten them down. Tighten them down. Yeah. Hack slinging slasher. We're going to measure each side and make sure it's squared up on the frame. We're going to call that six and seven eighths. Close. Give her a couple love taps. Oh, yeah. Money! We're almost done! Woohoo! One more time. I gotta tighten the big nuts. <laughs> They're very big. Big nuts! Next step slide the little metal thing into all the metal stuff so you can hold the ball in place. Okie dokie. I'm gonna feed all this right. thing. Mm hmm. Through. Run it through there. This yeah. thing. Oh yeah, look at this. Boop, 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 boop. Closing notes. Make sure you go back and tighten every single bolt up. Torque it to the spec. If you have to put the bracket on the exhaust, make sure you put the bracket on the exhaust. If you have to put the bracket for your parking brake cable, make sure you do that. I didn't have to take the exhaust down. I didn't have to remove the rear wheels. I didn't have to remove the spare tire. Oh, that's it. That's all I have to say about that.